Nestled in the picturesque countryside of West Sussex, England, lies the assembly plant for Rolls-Royce motor cars. From the outside, you would hardly think the building is a factory at all. It's surrounded by 42 acres of green landscape, features a 3.5-hectare living roof, and the grounds have been planted with over 120 species of trees and 400,000 individual plants. Once you step inside, the first thing you'll notice is the production line that looks more like a curated museum than a typical factory. Every workstation is precisely organized, kept tidy and clean by the highly skilled craftsmen and engineers who oversee every step of the assembly. The creative process of a Rolls-Royce begins with visionaries translating their ideas and concepts into a visual sketch. Rather than following trends and fads, their designs reflect classic, timeless aesthetics, yet still incorporate the evolving desires of the market. These sketches are then brought to life through a blend of state-of-the-art digital techniques and life-size clay models. Once the design aesthetics are in place, the manufacturing process begins, starting with the assembly of the BMW-sourced N74 twin-turbo V12 engine, which is then attached to the powertrain. Following this, the aluminum space frame body shell, which is pre-assembled and imported from Germany, receives a special protective coating to shield it against corrosion and wear. While Rolls-Royce has traditionally used a steel frame, recent advancements have led to the testing and adoption of a space-age aluminum unibody shell for newer models. This space-age aluminum provides the same strength and durability, but its reduced weight leads to increased fuel efficiency and a quieter ride. However, to completely rid outside noise, the cabin is wrapped in 300 pounds of acoustic insulation, which even extends down to the wheels, where the unique foam-filled tires developed by Continental reduce road noise by 9 decibels. Now that the car's body is fully prepared after soundproofing, it's time to couple the powertrain with the body shell in a procedure Rolls-Royce calls the marriage. The body shell is suspended overhead, and the powertrain is brought underneath on a rolling platform to be aligned perfectly. Once in line, the platform lifts the powertrain into the body cavity, and technicians secure it in place with bolts, marking each one with yellow as proof it's been fitted correctly. After the ceremony, the focus shifts to the interior transformation. This is where the artistry truly shines, as each feature is customized as per the client's choice. To ensure the utmost quality, the leather is sourced from bulls in the European mountains. The probability of flies and mosquitoes in this region is significantly less, hence there's less risk of bites and other infections that could defect the leather. If you're wondering why only bulls and not cows, well, cows aren't suitable for leather sourcing, as they can develop stretch marks during pregnancy, which affects leather quality. Not to mention, it takes eight to nine hides to dress the interior, and they're always sourced from the same batch to ensure consistency in texture and color. In the leather shop, skilled artisans will stretch, mark, and trim the hides with the aid of computers, cutting specific pieces out using lasers for ultimate precision. To complement the leather, Rolls-Royce offers personalized accessories such as embroidered leather cushions stuffed with duck feathers or monogrammed headrests. There's an equal level of dedication to the wooden veneers that line the console and accent the interior. Craftsmen will take up to 30 days to make sure every detail is perfect. Using a process called book matching, they cut the veneers precisely to ensure symmetry throughout the car. Copies of these veneers are kept in an archive, alongside numbers to track the tree the wood came from, so if replacements are needed, they can be sourced and matched precisely. Next is the starlight headlining. The material used on the roof is perforated with up to 1,600 individual hand-placed fiber optic cables, which can take up to 10 hours. The design can be arranged to depict any constellation or perhaps a special moment in time, such as birthdays. Or they can be arranged into a more fanciful graphic of your choosing, able to shine in any color, not just the twinkling white of stars. The luxury doesn't end with the interior itself. An endless catalog of accessories are available to complement your new Rolls Royce, from deluxe picnic sets with engraved silverware to tailor-made luggage that match the interior. You can even opt for a humidor for cigars, securely stored in the glove box, complete with a matching lighter and cigar cutter. 
In the meticulous process of crafting these vehicles, where human hands dominate every stage, there is one notable exception – the paint. The art of painting these bespoke automobiles is the only area where automation takes the lead. The reason behind this is simple – consistency. Rolls-Royce has come to realize that machine painting provides a level of precision and uniformity that is unmatched by humans. As a result, they allow automation to take the reins in this particular stage. There are over 44,000 colors and finishes to choose from, and if none of them suit your taste, their artists will develop your own unique signature shade and will craft a coordinating palette to extend across the entire car. Moreover, customers have the liberty to request certain materials be added to the paint, such as crushed pearls and even diamonds. Plus, the company goes a step further by securing a patent for any custom color under the client's name, which ensures exclusive usage rights. Before the car is ready for quality checks, there's one additional step known as coach lining the owner may opt for. This delicate task is still done completely freehand by a single specialized artisan, Mark Court. He uses his own custom brushes made from squirrel hairs to ensure a flawless finish without any brush marks. Even if a customer decides to add the coach line later, they will send this artist worldwide to personally apply the paint rather than shipping the entire car and risking damage. Once the exterior is finished, it goes through many hours of rigorous testing and inspection, with quality checks performed on every inch. In a special booth, monsoon testing is performed, drenching the car from all angles to ensure the weatherproofing does its job, as well as a simulated rolling road test to check the functionality of the suspension. Lastly, the car is taken on a real-world road test to check driving performance and acoustic soundproofing, so the owner can enjoy their magic carpet ride in the true sense. Before the car departs from the Goodwood headquarters, it is ensured that it will reach its owner gleaming and beaming. The workers hand-polish the body for over 5 hours with lamb's wool until it achieves a flawless, mirror-like finish. That's a wrap-up of the interesting process of creating the world's most expensive cars. If you got a chance to own one, what kind of customization would you get? Let everyone know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to Made Mastery for more fascinating content. Thanks for watching.